Okay, a bunch of cartoon characters. We gotta talk about this left wing beefing once again. The Circular Firing Squad continues. And of course, it's gotten to accusations of grifting and things like that. And sometimes we do throw that word around a little too easily. I think that's kind of what's going on here. So, of course, people at TYT are accusing Jimmy Dore of doing uh, some grifting, and he's accusing them of doing it. Look, you can't accuse somebody of grifting just because they're doing what they've been doing for a long time, but now for more money. That's not what grifting means. That's not what we mean when we say that. Tim Pool or Dave Rubin would be what we call a grifter. Somebody who pretends to be something they're not and makes money off of it. That's what we mean by grifting. Hillary Clinton, Don uh, Donald Trump, those are grifters. Okay, we can agree on that. Joe Biden's uh, son seems to be a little bit of a grifter. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, uh, taking it to his dead brother's wife as well doesn't make me think too highly of you. I'm just going to point that out now. Those sort of folks are grifters, all right? Unionized TYT, a unionized uh, progressive news network, is not grifting because it asks for money. They need money to operate. Now, of course, you could argue that some people over there did not want them to be unionized. That's fair game. That's fair game to say, hey, man, you can't take much credit for that. You didn't even want them to be unionized. That's one thing, though, but the network itself is unionized now. Now, one of our criticisms, y'all's criticisms, uh, my critiques of TYT is that they're too vanilla progressive. Okay, you need to be like democratic socialists, at least, to be getting much of a pass from us. Okay, and of course, if you're in my camp, we hammer the democratic socialists, too. We hammer Jacobin magazine, too. We hammer a lot of these guys because of their anti-communist stances taking up a little bit too much of the air when it comes to talking about politics as opposed to opposing the right wing or neoliberals, etc. So we have our criticisms of the DSA. We have our criticisms of Jacobin. We've criticized them for sheepdogging people along with corporate Democratic Party members. That's not acceptable. When the hell did that even become negotiable? That's That was my question. Now, so everyone can get it. Make no doubt about it. And like I said, TYT is vanilla progressive. But that's also what I consider Jimmy Dore. I consider Jimmy Dore to be a vanilla progressive, a social democrat, if you will. Okay, a social capitalist. Look, you both, you both, nobody can gatekeep, by the way, on the left. There's no such thing. And even if there was, you certainly couldn't do it from the right, which a lot of these folks are trying to do, to us to communists, to anarchists, to libertarian socialists. Imagine that. People from our right trying to gatekeep us. And now doing it to each other, of course. Now doing it to each other. Look, all y'all have capitalist advertisements on your channels. I'm just saying. And I know a lot of good progressives do the same. But all of y'all have capitalist advertisements, often very right-wing stuff, on your own channel. So I don't want to hear it when it comes to accusing others of grifting. I don't want to hear it from Jimmy Dore. I don't want to hear it from TYT. Okay? And furthermore, Jimmy Dore, I'm quite sure your workplace is not unionized. Okay? I'm quite sure that you don't have a rank and file committee at your workplace. I'm positive of that. All right? Now, of course, if it's just a husband and wife, that's kind of a worker co-op in and of itself now, ain't it? But if you have employees and they're not from a union, we already have a problem now, don't we? We already have an issue now, don't we? The opposition to a union by some at TYT, that was a huge problem. Taking a little too much money from liberals. It's Look, it's not that we don't want the help from any liberals, but we want you to be behind us. <laughs> Do you understand? Do you get it now? We don't want to be following you into the abyss, into your losing battles, like the ones against Nixon, like the ones against Reagan, like the ones against Bush, like the ones against Trump. Is that what we're supposed to, is you're who we're supposed to follow? No. If you want to follow us, 
and add in your, uh, you know, your opinion here and there. We get that. That's fine. That's a totally different thing than accepting tons and tons of money and, in essence, changing what you cover to satisfy them, i.e. almost all Trump stuff, almost all Trump and shots at the Republicans. Look, the Republicans are grotesque beyond measure. They are right wing out of this freaking world. I had a buddy over here yesterday. His his prime minister is Narendra Modi, and he can't believe how crazy Republicans in the United States are. Think about that for a second. This guy, whose prime minister is Narendra Modi, says, shit, those Republicans are fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Yeah, they are. But you also have to apply a lot more leverage to the Democratic Party. Now, to be fair, Jimmy Dore does do that, but he is doing it, in essence, for another party now. The People's Party. So it's not like he's doing that to boost people in the Democratic Party that are fighting within it. He's trying to create a new party. All right, you guys each have your own lanes. You're both vanilla progressives. There's no reason to accuse each other of grifting because you have a Patreon or you're asking for uh, more subscribers or more Patreon or more donations or whatever. Okay? There are inconsistencies there, like I pointed out with the capitalist advertisements. There are inconsistencies with the workplace, with the stance towards how the workplace is and how you wanted it to be, Jank Uger. There are inconsistencies there, but that's not what we mean when we say grifting. Sidney Powell's a grifter. Rudy Giuliani's a grifter. Not everyone you disagree with is a grifter. Not everyone you disagree with is a neoliberal or a fascist. They might just be a vanilla progressive like Jimmy Dore or Cenk Uger. Guys, I'm going to leave it at that. You know what's up.